Welcome to Factorio Reverse Megabase. My name is Nilo. So this is episode 27 of our Let's Play. And we ended up last time with a big monstrous, what the hell, uh, station up here. And well, <clears throat> some people pointed out a few mistakes. Um, the fact that one part of it was left hand drive and one part was right hand drive, which was an absolute disaster. So needless to say, I spent some time off camera fixing that. And as I had fixed it, I was like, mm, you know what? I really, really like this pattern here to be just like this, right? So, or more like, I would like to have the, this one in the middle. So I put it in the middle and I was happy. I built the whole damn thing. And then I realized, you know, this is actually not in the middle. Oh, I can't press. Oh yeah, this is the bug here. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, but then a half as well. So by placing them in the middle, that suddenly made my substation grid for the station on a misaligned with the rest. So I took another good idea and that's uh, that also came from here. And that's uh, actually making a little blueprint that just enforces the grid here. Not that we have to force the, to use the grid everywhere, but um, yeah, just make sure that we have this uh, so that I don't actually make it like one tile off or anything like that. And what we're then gonna do is you're gonna take this branch out here and then we'll light it or sort of uh, superimpose it on this. And then we'll see where I need to do it. So I have, of course, bit all of these things. So now it's right hand drive in, right hand drive out. It is beautiful in all of its simplicity. <clears throat> and that's the outbound. So now I just need to figure out where I want to place it. Do I want to place it here? I think if I place it here, then it's going to be a bit too close. I think I'd like to place it somewhat like maybe up here and then I'll I'll take that iron as my first iron and just do a test on that. That's going to be uh, the objective for today. So we are going to, because I want to see that the whole damn thing is working. So let's crawl a bit further out here and then try again on this one and see, does that make sense? I have to remember to rotate it like this and do we like this or do we like this? I think we like this one, right? All right, so what I'm gonna do is first, I'm gonna just cut these ones in and then I'm gonna do a bit of a little time lapse. Oh, you know what I could do? I could do like the guy in the IGN network, uh, in IGN review, just go like, well, I don't understand why, why trains don't work. Ha, huh, trains seem to be broken. Hmm, it could not be me who is broken. No, 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 it must be the game that's, <laughs> that is one of the highest ranked on, rated on Steam. Maybe that's probably the game that's broken. It can't be me who is a stupid journalist who don't know how to play games. No, 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 that can't be it. God damn it. Gaming journalists. That is just the uh, lowest of the low. Anyway, we are going to do this. Uh, I can turn down my own ranting. I can rant around for rant for five minutes while uh, doing this. So uh, you don't have to listen to it. And see you guys back here in a time lapse. And that was the last one. So now we have it. Let's uh, walk through the way it is. And uh, also I had to rotate it anyway, so I had to redo this. So this is these are the inbounds. The trees, great. Um, hmm. What should we call this one? I should probably call it... I'm just gonna copy this station here. And I'll get that one. And then here, and then do iron ore. So it's iron ore coming in there, right? That's the one. Doesn't work. And we are going to, you know, let's just display the names. As only then can I actually see if I'm getting it right. There, there, and there. And these two are called just iron. Perfect. So this is now, let's uh, walk through the way it works and I did some slight changes. I did uh, compact it a bit more, but uh, since they used to have to be sort of opposite, then this one looks good, I think. And uh, so we have the unloading onto here. That one merges in, becomes full belts and they get to go in here. They become side balanced and they go in and become just 16 to 16 balanced and go into my creation here and go back out 16, 16. They don't need to be balanced now because they will be balanced out here as uh, as they are 
Uh, I'm kind of one thing I'm wondering about is probably one of these or some of these are flipped the wrong way, but I guess we'll just find out whenever we fire it up. So this part, now I don't really know how I should do this outbound. Uh, I think we should build some kind of train network out here. Obviously, that's kind of what we want. But I just want to build the first smelting location and these just annoy me. So that's, uh, that's why I'm taking them out. Uh, we are going to figure out how to do something like this. So I can't, or well, I can, but I don't think I want to do robot mining. The reason I don't want to do robot mining is because I actually really like having this global robot network that is uh, supporting me with all the stuff I need for building. And if I start doing robot mining, that won't be possible. So I'm going to go over here and just try to figure out what it is, I, how I'd want to make this one. The basic thing is it's going to involve some kind of mining setup and some kind of mining setup. And what I usually do is use these ones. And I think that's actually still fine. Uh, they fit quite well if I just look at it. So that one to here. And I can take this one in, this one in, and here. So that's a pretty good setup. I could put lights in. Yeah, I'm not constrained on anything else. So that's going to be our sort of basic premise like this. The one thing we have to look at though is, oh, let's build one of these. I am not making, putting any modules in, neither productivity nor, uh, productivity is always wrong because if you put productivity in, you already have 680% productivity. So slowing this one down to get a few percentage more is completely irrelevant. So don't ever do that. Uh, speed modules. Well, honestly, I think the productivity will do the work. So I don't feel that I need need this, but you can do it if you really want something like really crank it up, but it'll fill a belt pretty quickly. So let's see, we have, I wanna see how much this one is. This one is by default creating because it has minus speed 0 0.5, then it is by default taking, outputting one every two seconds. I mean 0 0.5 outbound. Yeah, so what I basically want to see is how many can I build here and how would I want to build it? I'm going to build the first one a bit simple because, yeah, I, I need to figure out, I just get a sense of how I want to do this. We're having 16 trains and I'm just going to make a simple station. So this is a loading station, but it's not going to be this kind of loading station for sure. This is too weird. But I can still do this one to get a sense of something and uh, let's just make it up here and actually that's not the case I should be taking that one and take this out and then try and figure out how that matches with this part for example there so now it's at the same place and I will just do what didn't this one have a an actual location big rock is in the way let's get these out so this will be just the basic premise of this I am going to disband these here and disband this one so now let's figure out how much we want or how we want things inbound. I don't know why this one is here. Let's see, is this uh, matching? I've also changed this, so it actually now counts to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, what? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yes, perfect. Good, so this distance is good. Uh, that's also good, right? Yes. Now I need to figure out how I want to load it. Okay, this one is at least taking this here. <clears throat> I could do it the same way, but I could also do it another way. I think I prefer to have some kind of buffer here. And there are many ways. There are There's this way where it just goes under and then you have this one on the other side. I'm not particularly fan of this. 
what I am a fan of is actually looking at my own paste bin for what we're gonna do. So let me just find it and be back. And now we're back with the next one uh, with the train stations. These are from my loading efficient on efficient loading and unloading stations in uh, blueprint in, in my master class. I like this one, but it does kind of have too many. I don't need to load the train so fast because I'm not going to be able to get enough in here. I'm not going to get uh, 16 lanes in. This station is for a different purpose. It gets one built in and then, yeah. So I'm going to need to get, I can get eight belts out of this one easily. So let me just take a look at it from an eight belt perspective. That means one belt has to be split between two lanes. That's not a great deal. Even if it's one belt for one, train then if it's one belt for one train we have to sort of we have to figure out how to do it because that could be done with a single belt or with two inserters or six inserters like this one and then find some kind of way to do this right this is like the simplest way of getting more of it I don't like putting them really close and I don't need to have it bigger than this so this one could be like that there that could be an option for us. I like this option, to be honest. Seems pretty simple. I think we'll I'll, I'll take, we'll take this one. We'll take this one. Yeah. And then we'll figure out the uh, output inputs and outputs. And that is. I have no idea how many that is. Copy. 14. Two more. One, two. So now I have 16 lanes in with uh, loading. I don't like this. There's too many uh, splitters for what I need. And then the next one is trying to get as much out of this one as possible. If I, if I build, let's make sure we get the one we had. Come on. Don't go out of my way there. Let's see if this one works. Uh, it kind of does, but it also kind of maybe doesn't. Unless I have power. See, power is always the problem with this. I am going to cheat my way to some power because I need to get this one to actually tell us what it is. That one is here. That didn't give us power. Then it just gave an infinite... In this is just a temporary little thing here. There. I just need this one to be sure that it's powered. Otherwise, I can't trust this mod. There we go. So this one is two full belts, which is pretty damn good. That's exactly what I was uh, what I was hoping for there. And it'll only get better. So what we can do is actually we can build it. And I'm going to take these out because that's not the intention. I'll take this out. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disable my own rover port because that's not needed. And what's the middle of this one? Maybe that's the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. And the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't care about the last one. There. So this way. Good, and I can basically take one more of these and let's just get a small one. This one. I'll build this. There. So what I have now is eight plus eight, that's 16. So I just need a 16 to 16 splitter. How do we do a 16 to 16 splitter if only we had one handy? Oh, wait a minute. That's a nice handy one there. And that kind of impl implies that we need a bit more space. Yeah, so I'm going to take this one out. And how do we want to build this? I can build it like this and then now nah, I want to build it upwards like that. And then I'm just going to check that it works. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe. 
that one. Brilliant. And I take this and I flip it. That's not flip. That flip. There. Yep. I'm kind of happy with this. Let's uh let's bring it in. So that means I can actually just fire up my robots and I'll do this one. Cool. So see you in a bit. And there we go. We now hooked up everything and it's ready to go. It's not uh, outbound yet, but what we can do is I will just build this one again, just to, uh, to get a sense of where this is going to be located. And then I'm going to find this blueprint and just look at this one. It looks good. Could I build it one closer? Could I build it down there? That's going to be a no. So this one's going to be fine. And how many, and again, let's just get this done. So that's, uh, now that one's done. I think I really like this. There's a, I don't know what it is, some kind of octopus or something, but I, I like it. Uh, if we can take this small location, 129. Okay, maybe it's not super small, but, um, make it and let's get some clearance here let's see if we get more out there not really and then we just need to get the last bits of this part so this one will be a direct outbound uh, but on the other hand what we're getting inbound is the question is then how many trains do we want to have servicing this area and this is already looking very suspicious to me that one and then that one is that correct and then that one. Then what are you doing? Some of these curves here are a bit strange. So I'm just looking at it here. I can't really see anything. Uh, see that I don't like. And so out here, I don't really care about this grid specifically because the grid is going to get in trouble, get us in trouble here. But that doesn't matter uh, because we don't need a grid at this point. So we only need to build a grid where we want it and, <clears throat> and also where we don't want it, I guess. Yeah. Great on that one. And what I just need to do is look at... Take these out. Take this one. This is going to be all 10. It actually looks like it could be one closer. If I look at it. Yeah, that looks good. This one. Then I just have to, I wish I could do this in a sum, because if I put it here, and that one, that's definitely going to be enough. So that's uh, three trains potentially inbound here. And what I, all I need now is basically from this one, this is the outbound, it doesn't go, oh man, the train planner, the train planner. Uh, I am going to get this. We are just going to try to get that one, right? Yes. So I guess we actually have to merge it back in here to this one so it doesn't go out on this side. And then basically that becomes, this becomes the station. Say so it looks like this. All the way down there. Yep. Let's see. Yeah, that looks good. So it's going to be, that's going to be one train and, okay, so I can only have one train waiting. I don't know. It doesn't seem like much. Boom. Boom. Wouldn't it be fun if it just didn't match the other one when I came back? And of course we'll have intersections and all those fancy things, but that's not something we want right now. We're just going to do this part. Boom. And this might actually fire up with power. We're simply building it at this. This is the only. Ah! God! What happened? What happened? What happened? Something happened. Damn it. 
Oh yeah, that that's that's something. That is something. How did I butcher this so much? That's fine. There we go. Okay. Less panic. Thank you very much. Here, coming in and going around. Yep, thank you. Going around there. And I just again need to figure out how much, how many outputs. Yeah, so this one, it looks like there. <sighs> yep, you can't make it outside of your RoboPod area anymore. That's a recent bug in latest version, but it'll be fixed tomorrow or Monday or something. So not really a big deal. Here. Does that work? Yeah, it's fine. And this part at least I can I can take out. I can copy there. Right. So that's gonna be one more train. Still do blueprints for some reason. There. Let's build that. <clears throat> and we are ready to get some trains in. I think we actually want to just uh, put in some real trains here. One, two. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Great. And I need that one and that one. They just get one each. That's all they need. There and there. And I need to change this. Uh, the station is not good. I will just call it. It's just providing this. So that's pretty simple. I'll just jump in. <clears throat> and basically what you could do was basically saying each of these or not basically but each of these should actually have a train limit of two why train limit of two and actually no i don't want a train limit of two yes actually just i do want a train limit of two so this train limit of two means that i can only get one two trains in here yeah sounds good I'm going to do that and I'm also going to copy this train because that's the easiest thing to do. I don't want that one, but I do want the trains. Funny I couldn't say, uh, yeah, train schedule there. I know couldn't get train fuel though. This one, you're going to iron until full. Then you're going to iron empty until empty I have a little ghost <laughs> nice a ghost station and actually that's the station that's the blueprint I want I also want the schedule I don't bother setting schedules up more than once there that's the one and go don't get run over this would be so embarrassing to get run over here and I'm gonna set one more interesting how the chain train Fuel did not go in there. One more. And I'm going to take one more as well. Get all the way to the end. There. And you're also going to go in. There we go. So now we have three trains. And I just wanted to see that, yes, they are very close to each other. <laughs> very, very very closely packed and that's brilliant and you know what i'm gonna set a third one because why not uh that's why not yes take it out here instead That one, that one, and we're just now going off we go. Uh, something doesn't look right, and that's, uh, oh, whoop. Okay, so now we have four trains inbound, and yes, I should be changing the name or the colors of them, but I don't, and all the things we need is now hooking up to power. Here, here. It's gotta be close, gotta be close, and with that one done, we are not getting power. How do we not get power there? Uh, okay. So 
there we go let's have a look at this and just uh, watch the the belts fill up and it should be very very close to full uh, full 16 full lanes it's not quite 16 full lanes but it should be pretty close each of these I am really tempted to do this I was really liking this idea uh, it's not able to f take a full train though but if I do this it'll still consume it just won't take it on the same side hmm it's actually really tempting to put it on the other side but no 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 let's see does it stock part does it stop I don't think it does what about this one how much we got we got 15,000 and I'm actually gonna hitch a ride in this one and just uh, oh look at that there's a little icon that's nice so we're just gonna hitch a ride it goes up to 32,000 if that comes in we are going to follow this and just see that it works basically we are just looking for us to build some templates and I think this template is a good template it's just uh, taking it and then bring it out to either side merge it up bring it into a station if you have any better ideas on these kind of stations by all means let me know I am um, I'm kind of I don't want too many splitters and I certainly do not want circuits so if you have any matter loader do not even suggest it I'm aware of them but uh, don't like them it's funny how long a path this train actually takes for such a short distance but you know it's the principle of it and it's the idea if if this works so I'm gonna jump out and we're gonna monitor if this works and we're now only getting four lanes out of this one it's not supposed or it's not intended that even though this one is almost 16 lanes uh, it's not really intended that one of those stations will be able to fill up all of this and I just kind of wonder when this next one comes in where is it going it is actually choosing the next one that's very nice of it thank you thank you for not choosing the same one and how's your unload speed it is deliberately a slow unload speed because it only needs to fill into four four belts and out here it's a beautiful mess and in here it's a beautiful mess I just want to see the next train coming in ah man this is so nice I think it's this <clears throat> all the time I spent I spent between one and two hours just fixing this um, this station before so I I think I've earned myself the right to look at this beautiful mess just going in together and 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 I like it it's, it's good uh, what about the next one? How close are you to getting out? Uh, you're flying out now. Whoop. Where are you going? You're going to number three. That's nice. All right, let's see. We are getting very low amounts inbound. Uh, oh, by the way, also, this is not consuming 16 lanes. It's outputting 16 lanes. So since there's a 20% increase, then it means it's only consuming 37 for each lane here. So that's, uh, that's actually something. And we're getting trains outbound here. Uh, how about actually putting a train into this location? Wouldn't that be funny? Here, 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 and here. And these will obviously have different locations or different setups. That one. These will also have maximum of two trains enabled. Right now, that's at least how we do it. Two trains. I am going to change it later on, I think. But if I take two trains here. Yeah. Um, I think I'd actually fix it by having an extra station right there as a module. Yep. Oh, look at this. They are now coming in on all belts. Sweet. And what's the next one? Next one is actually, yeah, it might be filling up soon. So this one will now go to a station here and going into full cargo and then go to any one of these and that is empty. That should be it. Copy, paste, there. However, I'm kind of suspicious about it, to be honest, because let's figure out where we actually have those locations. This one, no, uh, this is an actually an inbound iron. Uh, where is it? There's an inbound iron. They, they can't reach it, though. And where else do we have an inbound iron? This is an inbound iron. I really want it to be up here. 
but it would be nice if we could just test it for at least one of them for at least the red the red science let's do that don't don't you think i think so i think that's uh, totally reasonable these now go to 64000 and the belts are full and compact yeah, it's not compact yet but it will be if we look at up here, oops, up here even with one location it's actually keeping up there's some discrepancy here 1.4 and 0. That is crazy difference. That is a crazy difference. Oh, I think I know why that's crazy difference is there. Whoops. Um, but that's... Uh, oh, the worst part is that I'm going to slide through here. I saw it and now I can't see it. There. There and there. That one. That's the problem. I think that's the only place that isn't working. All the other ones, now they are full all over the place. This is unfortunately going to be a bit of a discrepancy here. Don't care. Hope it self-balances eventually when it sort of reaches a steady state. It should be. So what I want to do is I want to just zoom over to the iron lo to this location and try to change the fake train to a real iron train because that would be awesome if we can have the whole process from ore to smelting and then see that it comes out. See you over by the red. And here we are with the very first location we built. Let's uh, see how we can improve this. We have already some of these uh, exits. So let's take this exit for example. That one, I am not going to take any entities. And I'm going to take the tiles, but I'm not going to take entities. That's what I said. Ah, I am going to take entities. I just don't want to take any of this here. Good. So this one, rotate, rotate. It goes up here and smashing. And then I can, from this one, I can take here and rotate, rotate. And that should be up on this path. So now we need to make sure that that is possible. <clears throat> it's looking a bit suspicious, isn't it? That's actually looking okay. Probably would have done it in a different way if this was not the first one, but the first one is always, yeah, it's like with kids and pancakes. The first one is always a bit messed up, right? That's how it, it goes, except not my pancakes. They're perfect, all of them. Kids, eh, they're also pretty good. All of them. So I am going to kill this train. And the easiest way is to first do that. And actually also remove unfiltered. That's easier. This one does not have a buffer. Eww, that I don't like. Yeah, this doesn't have a buffer. That's actually kind of impractical to say the least, because now it's going to run out. But if I put a buffer in, then it's going to get in trouble with that. Doesn't matter. It absolutely has to have a buffer. All right, so now there is a buffer, although it's a bit late for the buffer. Then we're going to move all the way up here and I'm going to take some parts of this, just a big chunk of it and including tiles. I'm going to go up here and rotate it and then see if we can. And I'm also missing there. All right, cool. Let's move up and make sure we have some power, some rubber ports with us. Yeah, this is also just something we'll uh, we'll get up there to the merge and then we'll take it from there. So here we are, we are getting closer and as soon as we hook this up and then the train will actually get in. So that's something we have to keep in mind. Uh, this one isn't actually built in terms of uh, the exit or to the, the pavement, but uh, I guess we can do that as well. One thing I want to take out is here, not that one, but actually, where are they? There. 
Uh, that's totally not what I want. <laughs> Silly. How does undo work with these things? Good thing we have the undo function there. And it was this one I wanted to drag. Because there are a number of out here. Uh, these ones as well. Good. Yep. So, I'm going to take this one. And I don't like the grids they have, but this is not good. Ah, I need it. I needed it right. Oh, I need it right there. Cool. Why is it not matching? What's the problem? Ah, yeah. So this is too far one way. This is too far the other way. The ideal would be right there. But that's not quite possible. Well, it is, but it isn't. Okay, so I'm going to go back and take this blueprint again, but this time without this one, this one, and that one, and that one, and that one. No, actually not. The other way around. Oh yeah, I don't. I know I don't have to undo this, this one, this one, and it's actually, there we go. Rotate, 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 and now we'll get it in there. Should be good, and we'll do this one just all the way up and see if we can get some kind of meaningful interaction. I think I want a oops, the last one is not definitely not correct, but where? All right, we've now found a way to merge these together and all we need is just to make sure that we have this together. Oh, it might actually get hit by a train now. Ha, huh. that would be uh, fun for some of us, not some fun for some other of us. Uh, is it coming? Uh, these two trains have decided to leave. Where are they? Uh. Oh. Oh, crap. <laughs> I did not see that coming. I did not expect that this one actually had a location. Oh. Well, this one should have a train limit of one. This one should go back. And where's the other one? That one is... Oh, oh. That's awesome. That's exactly what we wanted. Look at that. Except for that one. Okay, we'll just run back and fix it. Nice. How did it sneak by without me watching? And we also have now an infinite train that's uh, somewhere, somehow derelict. I'll just fix it and go back there. And now we're fixing this one. There we go. And I will now have this station here is limited to two and why do we have three stations inbound uh this one is actually yeah this is a fake train so <clears throat> okay this is a this is going to be the worst part of of us trying to figure out what's going on with these trains this one is the fake train so that goes here now perfect Yes, well, no, perfect is the big word, but you know, it, the point is that I can now start replacing these trains and all everywhere that needs iron inbound can now get one of these trains and then we'll start figuring out if I want two trains for each location and then I some of them I might have more than two trains, but I can have a huge buffer for this, but uh, you know, this one, oh, this one needs to be locked in here, but somehow not on top of that other one. Uh, this one is also going to be in trouble because it goes straight out. So that's, um, we have tons of things that we need to solve before we are done. But what we've done now is the full strain from, full chain from iron ore mining into a train, into unloading, into smelting, into loading, and all the way somehow happily in here. That's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. What we can do now is we can we can start working towards the blue science because that's kind of, now we've been working a bit on smelting and then uh, let's work a bit on some of the next science bits. And, and basically we want to make a few of these and I just don't know how many we want, but uh, we, I think we need two of these for 
uh, yeah, two of no three of these for iron and four three something for copper as well. We'll find out. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care, and as always, stay effective.